Hey, Shopping Airlines the Math Industry, and we are gonna do some more on specific heat. This time, it's a dual problem. So, we're gonna learn how we're gonna solve a dual problem. Because not only you have to find the energy or the temperature of something, but you have to do it two times. Because, one, here is our problem. And two, it will explain what the two things are. A 10 gram of silver is heated up to 100 degrees Celsius and then is put into 20 grams of water at 23 degrees Celsius. In an insulated calorie meter, a calorie meter is a measurement and there's a tool that can help understand that what the temperature is and what the energy is. The calorie, the calorie meter said at an equilibrium, the temperature tw was 25 degrees Celsius. What is the heat of the water? So, we put 10 grams of silver and make it really, really hot. Then, Then, we put that object into a calorie meter so we can measure how much energy it has. But we're trying to find not the heat of the water, we're trying to find the heat of the silver. Because we already know the heat of the water. So, what is the specific heat of the silver? Okay, so in the last few videos, you probably saw this formula earlier. Q equals M times C times the change in temperature. That is basically what we're going to find. The joules of energy, the mass of the object, the specific heat, and the change in heat. So, the two things is, we have to calculate water... And we also have to calculate the heat of the silver cube. So the thing is, what we're going to do is try to find the energy of water, then transfer that knowledge to another formula, and boom, we'll get our answer. So when the problem says water, the first thing you might want to think about is the specific heat. So 4.184 grams per, 4.184 joules per grams per Celsius. That's going to help us because everything is measured in grams and Celsius. Number two, that is the specific heat of water. Any problem that says water on it means this is always the specific heat. Number two, we are going to put 20 grams as the mass. Because that is what's stated as we put the cube in 20, 20 grams of water in it. And finally, the change in temperature. The water was at 23 degrees Celsius before, but after we put the cube in and it cooled off a bit, it was at 25 degrees Celsius. So 25... Yep, 25 minus 23 equals 2. So the change in temperature was 2 degrees Celsius. So now we have all the information we need to find the energy of the water. Now we can transfer it to another formula. We can now understand that when you do 20 times... 4.184 times 2, according to the formula as planned, you'll get an answer of 
point thirty six. That is how much energy in joules the water has. But we're not done yet. We have water. Now we have to find the energy, not the energy, the heat of the silver cube. So now we're going to do the same thing all over again, but it's going to be a lot faster. So Q equals, M equals, C equals, and delta T equals. We already said that Q, we're going to have 167.36 right here. The amount of joules of water. But uh-oh, when we do the formula, when it's Q equals mass times C to change in temperature, we don't want to find Q anymore. We already know Q. So to make C alone and find the specific heat of the silver, Divide everything by M delta T. So we literally, because get it? In literal equations, we literally isolate the letter C because we want to find what C is, M, the specific heat of the silver. So Q divided by mass times the temperature, in, the, t the change in temperature. So we said the mass of the cube was 10 grams. So we're going to put that right here. And also, the, the degrees, the change in degrees, the change in Celsius, we're going to put 100 degrees Celsius because it literally said that the cube of silver was heated up to 100 degrees Celsius. Now we have all the parts to complete our formula and find our final answer for the heat of the silver. So, specific heat of the silver equals, from the last problem, we have 167.36. That's the energy of the water in joules. So we're going to put 167.36. When we toss the cube into the water, we calculate... 10 grams, that's the mass of the silver cube, and we have to multiply that by 100, because that was the amount of temperature that made the cube heat up. So now we can do the formula. 10 times 100 is 1,000. And when you do 167.36, divide that by 1,000, you will get an answer of the specific heat of the cube is zero is going to be zero point one six seven three six and that is in joules per grams centimeter that is the specific heat of that tiny cube of silver so we have understood how to calculate the energy of the water and then calculate the heat of the cube. And that is how we can solve dual problems with specific heat. We get to calculate the energy in joules of water, then transfer that information to find the specific heat in silver. Thank you for watching Tao Ping and Life's Math Industry. Like and subscribe.